Okay, so Ray asked about the two, what did I call it? Two good methods to studying, right? Active recall and spatial repetition. Well, let me go through those very quickly today in this video. Active recall, right? What does that mean? Basically, it means bringing forth information from memory, from your own brain, right? But from memory is like the key detail here, right? Not from a textbook. Like anyone can look at a textbook and find the answer to a question. You need to bring it forth from memory. Yes, it's more difficult, but that's how you learn. That's how you spend less time doing hard work, but then spending less time in general study. You see these people who spend like so much time studying in the library 12 hours a day, and they get the average grade, they get like a B or a C. Whilst there's people who spend maybe two hours in there, and somehow they get the A star, or the A, right? I don't know how the, the grades are equivalent in the, in the US or whatever, but the highest grade in the UK when I was studying was an A star, right? That was like the best grade, A star, right? And how do you work for less time and get highest grades? This is how you do it, right? I talked about the book in the previous video I recorded, and that is this book here, Make It Stick, okay? A lot of research went into this book. A lot of authors are like researchers and studiers and people like that who wrote this book and like really backed it up with the science. And that's a good read if you want to read it. But that basically proves these things. Active recall and space repetition are the best ways to study, right? As, so in the previous video, I talked about if you just want a summary of that. Oh, how do I? Yeah, okay. Reading, highlighting and summarizing. The worst ways to study, by the way. If you want to look at that, I'll post that as well. I'm thinking about posting this as a separate post, as like a, a study post or something for people who want to look through all of these in like a playlist or something. I'm not sure how to do that, but maybe I'll just post it separately as a, a separate post. That'd be good. Okay, so active recall from memory. How do you do that? The best ways I like to do are flashcards. So let me write this down. Flashcards. Flashcards. What are flashcards if you've never heard of them before? Basically, they're, they're, they're cards that you make, right? Where you make up the question. I think I have some. Let me just, give me one second. So they are like this kind of like card material, right? They're like smaller pieces of paper. You can get some that are even smaller than this. Oh, actually, I have one here, right? Okay, look, I've got some text written on here. It doesn't really matter, but this stuff, you can like put a question on one side and the answer on the other side and test your memory, right? Show yourself one side with the question and see if you can remember it by writing down the answer. And I like to write it down. I don't like to say it out loud because if you say it out loud, then you can like trick yourself into thinking, oh yeah, I, I knew that by the way, I knew that, right? And then put it in the correct pile, right? This is how you do it by the way. You go through your flashcards. Let me just move this around a little bit. And you have a pile of them, and then you answer them. You say if they're correct, or if they're incorrect, right? Incorrect. And then you you have to go through all the incorrect ones, right? Correct, incorrect. And you keep going until you went through the entire deck, right? That's how you do it. Every time you do flashcards, you do it like this. It seems a laborious process, it seems so difficult but it's how you learn the best. This is how those smart guys in your school spend two hours in the library and spend the rest of the day having fun, chilling out with friends, going bowling, you know, hanging out in the park. This is how they do it, right? So that's flashcards. The second method is past papers, which I prefer to be honest with you. Most past papers will go through, if you go through like 10 years worth of past papers, you'll go through all the topics. Like guaranteed, if, there's a, if, there's, if it's a good exam board especially, you will go through all the topics, right? And it will practice exactly how the exam will look like, right? Your flashcards might not exactly be like the exam that you're going to do, but you could design it with each other, right? Your past papers, the stuff you got wrong, you can put them into your flashcards, right? It's it's such a, a game changer. This is, These are the methods that the smart people in your school are using. Right, so don't sleep on this. It's very good. So flashcards, past papers, those are probably the two things I, I would mention but when it comes to active recall. Spaced repetition, right? There is a graph that people 
like to highlight with this and it is hmm. okay let me just draw this out it's called a forgetting curve right and typically the first time you learn something you're going to forget pretty quickly right but then you learn it again and you forget it a little less quickly right and you learn it again right but the intervals between you learning can get longer and longer and longer. So if it's one day gap here, it might be a two day gap here, it might be a four day gap here, it might be an eight day gap here. And that's how you leverage the, the power of memory in your brain, right? It's called the forgetting curve, okay? A very important concept, right? So you can either come up with a way of doing that in your head, right? A forgetting curve, I'm not gonna, okay, F, C, forgetting curve, okay? But there are also other programs and softwares you can use to do this as well, right? So my favorite one that I've used in the past is called Anki, right? Um, it's a free software to download on your computer, Windows, Mac, I, I believe, and it's also free on Android. But for some reason on Apple, it's not free. It's like ridiculous, it's like 20 quid, right? But even that price, I'd say it's worth it because it's very this this software is very powerful. It's so good. It does all the forgetting curve stuff for you. And trust me, I I tried to do it in my head like before I used Anki and it's it's tough to do. Like to mark all the dates on every single card, it's hard. Anki does it all for you. If you don't want to use Anki, there's stuff online like Quizlet. Oh, and there's another one as well, like Memrise, I think. Mem rise that's how you spell it so look these up if you want these they're, they're kind of like easier to use they're like like if anki is like the android version of it quizlet and memrise are like the apple version of it they look nicer and they're like easier to use but anki is more powerful so up to you which whichever one you want to use right and i haven't used these in a long time so maybe they've upgraded over time but let's have a look at this have i covered everything i want to say here okay Space repetition and active recall, right? From memory, the forgetting curve, and using a program, that's pretty much it. And how to do flashcards as well, correct and incorrect. Have a pile for each one. And that's it. That's basically it. Okay, I hope that helps, Ray, with your question. And I believe that's everything. Okay, thanks for watching. Peace. Nice.